this article courtesy of hype beast is for me a really good indication of just how much nike have fallen off and the fact that i think innovation overall especially when it comes to sneaker design has been down in the dumps for a long time and obviously nike are probably one of the main culprits of it and this article courtesy of hype beast that says nike's lack of innovation caused sales to drop says jd sports ceo and i think i have a direct correlation as to why I agree with what the JD Sports CEO has to say about Nike's lack of innovation causing their sales drop because, you know, JD Sports, if you know anything about, you know, UK retail, is one of our prime sportswear retail stores here in the UK. Um, mostly sportswear, streetwear type of clothing, mostly Nike. It's a place where you go get your Nike tech suits. It's a place where you go get your Air Maxes, your Air Forces. And, you know, they're just known for, like, you know, lacing up the youth of the UK, right? From anywhere between the ages of, like, 18 to 45, if you're fucking chronic, right? You're still out there wearing tech suits and shit. Anyway, I feel like what this JD Sports CEO is relating a lot to what I'm going to show you next in terms of another picture of a shoe coming out. So, JD Sports CEO Regis Schultz is pointing the finger at Nike for the UK retailer's chain decrease in sales, Bloomberg reported. During the company's first recent calling, Schultz reported that for like sales, for no, like for like sales had fallen 3.1% during the last quarter of 2023, although the retail anticipated an upturn in the coming months due to the soccer championships and the Paris Olympics. Asked by analysts about, about JD Sports' relationship with Nike, who reported last week that sales were down, Schultz blamed the brand's supposed lack of innovation. And I agree with that. M too many retros, no new shoes. Um, innovation really in the toilet for, the, for lack of a better of it and just kind of going through the motions because they're, they're, the, they're the main leader basically when it comes to sportswear and they just kind of take the position for granted and they kind of take the foot off the pedal instead of like doing an Apple where Apple are always innovating always trying to push you know push it further the Apple Vision Pro say what you want about it but at least it's something different to everything else that we see from most fun, like, electronic companies out there so they're constantly 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 trying to push things forward Nike resting on their laurels it continues Nike has been so successful but they just stopped a little bit bring no nike has been so successful but they just stopped a little bit bringing in new stuff at the same time adidas is doing very well new bands are doing very well exactly i've noticed that too in the streets i think most of you have noticed it too if you live in a metropolitan city you'll know that a lot of people are now wearing adidas and new balance like i've seen a lot more non-nike shoes just walking around london than you would have seen maybe 10 years ago there's more people just wearing other brands doesn't matter what brand it is but the streets aren't dominated by just Nike anymore. There's other brands people want to wear and they're proud to wear it. They're bringing out new and innovative stuff. They're bringing out quality things. It's all well and good. The CEO went to say that the shoppers quickly get bored with the brand's rotation. Retro, 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 I'll say, right? If you don't bring in new stuff, new product, new innovation, new color, I think the demand is suffering. Of course, especially JD Sports. Most of the stuff that they sell them is like gray, navy blue, black and white. Um, innovative silhouettes don't really exist really it's all the same retros air force ones air max 90s air max 95s um maybe nike air max 270s and shit maybe now there's nike air max dns same nonsense now why do i say this is definitely nike's fault look at these new shoes quote unquote new shoes that are coming out nike air max tiempo plus nike air max plus tiempo meant to be coming out later this year that is not innovation that is just a regular Nike Air Max Tiempo with, no, a, a, a basically a regular Nike Air Max Plus with a Tiempo um, soccer, um, what you call it, indoor shoe fucking flap, similar like to a Samba. That's basically what they've done. They've taken the same thing and obviously the same swoosh on a Tiempo and put it on a fucking Nike Air Max Plus. This is why Nike sales are slumping because they're not innovating. And this is a really sad thing because Nike have some of the best product designers um, you know, industrial designers, shoe designers in the world working out in Oregon, but they're not doing anything. They're not doing, they're, none of the stuff is they're making is making it into production. All the stuff that gets made in Innovation Lab, where does that get put? Where does that get stored? Where does that get sold? And that sneakers app in low quantities, it's not getting pushed out mass market wise. The retros that come out, they're not done to spec, they're done haphazardly, they're meant to be directed to sneakerheads, but they're not done in high quality or, you know, with a high level of attention to detail. The, the, the sneakerheads don't like it, they're trying to send it to the mass audience, they don't like it either, and it fails, like the Air Max Plus, right? Or the Air Max Lite, sorry, which I still never will forgive Nike for. Nike ruined one of the greatest Nike Air Maxes ever in the history, Nike Air Max Lights, by making the retro absolutely terrible. I'll never forgive them for that. But this is proof that Nike don't have any innovation. They've taken a classic Air Max Plus, a very popular shoe, especially in Europe, 
um, popular Air Max, probably worldwide, I'd imagine nowadays, and it just added a fucking Tiempo skin over the top of it, giving it, giving it a swoosh on the outside, big white swoosh, and a fucking flap tongue on the top. That's why the sales have gone down because they're not innovating, not bringing anything new or fresh. Same silhouette, same thing that you're kind of used to, and just sort of like hybrid hybrid that's what they do just hybrid what can we do take this shoe mend it with this shoe take this popular shoe blend it with this shoe it's like no make a new shoe bro like make something fresh and new if tinker hatfield was able and all the other designers able to create air max 90s air max ones air trainer ones why can't these new designers create new silhouettes that will you know test will be into like tell a different story for nike in the future that's why yay was able to crush it so much with yeezy he brought all those new shapes in so quickly when he was at adidas but look what nike's done absolutely nothing Look at this shit. Who wants this stuff? Like, who wants he's going to buy this? This is definitely made for, like, a um, streetwear, hipster, sportswear brand. I mean, sportswear, streetwear, a limited edition kind of quote-unquote fan base. But this is the kind of stuff you're going to find at the fucking Dover Street Market sale. These are, these are going to sit on the shelves for ages. They're a very marmite type of silhouette. No, very marmite type of style of a shoe. They're very dated. They're going to be dated very soon because they're probably trying to jump on the Samba trend and get a hold of that market. But even the Samba thing is kind of died out. These are terrible. These are absolutely terrible. So this is the reason why Nike sales have slumped and why JD Sports is complaining. So JD Sports is probably going to have more of an effect in changing the way Nike do their things because JD Sports is probably a really big account for Nike. So they're going to want to make them happy. But us sneakerheads that have been crying about these things, we're not really going to make any change. They're not going to listen to us. They're probably going to listen to JD Sports more than listen to us. That's a really depressing side of the whole thing. Do you know what I mean? That's a really depressing side of the whole thing. They're probably going to listen to JD Sports more. So we're probably going to get innovation through a GR store. A GR store is going to put pressure on Nike to innovate more, to take more risks. And that's going to then filter down into the hockey hip, or into the limbs edition kind of you know sneakerhead world which is weird because usually what's the other way around usually in sneaker industry the limited edition shit is stuff that trickles down into the gr world but now it's going to be the other way around absolutely wild wild things but big up the jd sports ceo um big up him for fucking speaking the truth big up uh regis uh, regis schultz big up him the ceo of jd sports again a killer probably not sneaker just a fucking you know balls to the wall um super fucking businessman and, you know, he figured out pretty quickly that these motherfuckers just keep sending us the same fucking silhouette of shoes, the same Air Max, the same Air Max 90, the same Air Force Ones, the same shit every fucking year, even the tech suit. That's not really changed that much. Innovation on the materials, I think, a little bit. The color combinations, not very interesting, to be honest. Can you get can you get Nike tech suits on ID yet? I don't really know. You should be able to. Considering how popular they are, you should be able to customize your Nike tech suit on fucking Nike ID. I'm not sure if you can do that just yet. It's fucking garbage, bro. It honestly is garbage. And it's sad to see because Nike at one point was the premier brand to wear, number numero uno, but they're taking it forth the pedal. They've let other brands come and take their spot. People are now wearing all manners of brands. Even from even people are wearing Asics now. People are wearing Diodoros. People are wearing Mizunos. People are wearing Mizunos now. Mizuno are doing a good job of retroing loads of cool shit. And now Nike are out here, you know, putting together a fucking mix of a Tiempo and an Air Max Plus and thinking people are going to go crazy. Like, come on, bro. You're a bit late. You're a bit late. So big up that fucking CEO from JD Sports for saying the truth. I really did appreciate him for speaking that what he said, because most likely people will listen to him. They won't listen to me. They'll listen to us fucking lowly sneakers on the social media, but they'll listen to probably someone like him. 100% of the way they'll probably listen to him. So credit to him, credit to fucking him.